Hi guys, I'm Brian and welcome to my vlog. So today, we will talk about um, new topic. Last few days, my professor tasked me to do a reflection paper about the networking system called CCNA. So, after I have read the whole passage, this affect my perception and it added knowledge to me. So, let me share to you what my realizations are and I hope it will give you information too. So, stay tuned and I will start after this. So, I'm back! This course is beneficial to students like us because it guides us to things that can help improve our abilities. Since the goal of this is to develop our skills necessary to plan and implement a small network, I can say that this course offers really suit our interests and goals. Since this course offers advanced and technology-based information and activities, it is easier for us to access by means of using smartphones, tablet, laptop, or desktop to participate in the class. Though, sometimes we need to get use of the packet tracer. Oh, by the way, packet tracer is a tool that supports a wider range of physical and logical simulations. This course also creates a global community. In fact, over 160 countries have this course. 165 countries to be exact. And did you guys know that they have 800,000 students in a span of 12 years? This is how it implements people. It's so amazing! It is not just a simple course but it connects people in having jobs, especially the online ones. This also helps them because effective communicators. So, I continue my reflection for today and I was continue reading it makes me more interesting and astonished by the networking system and I realize that it does not only give information but also hone our skill. Not only giving a technological experience but also involves the student through interactive media. This networking system will not just only give you information about your performances but also access your progress Throughout the course, for me, this system is like a stepping stone that I can use from now until my future endeavor. Since this will enhance my skill by practically learning and by doing activities, I know that this will apply in my profession in the future. Before I forgot this course, believe that the practice teach to mastery. And it's upper the syntax checker. When we say syntax checker, it is used to configure troubleshoot about a network. By means of this, it will lead us to know what wrong and to fix it right away. Since we need to practice and practice, I am very certain that this will lead to mastery and it will be improve our skills from simple to complex things by means of using real equipment. As a human, we can't remember all things that we learn but this course is really exceptional. They have all the processes you need. Like for example, their engineering journals. You should have jot down of the things you observe and learn about protocols and command. They believe that writing is a way to enforce your learning and can be used at your work in ICT jobs. So this amazing guys, aside from all that was mentioned earlier. The goal and the outcome that the networking system wants to imply is also to explore the world of networking. Since the packet tracer support a wide range of physical and logical simulation, it also consists of network simulating games. 
which is the pre-made packet tracer. It also have activities and challenges about how data flows in a network. It was so incredible to know about this network course. I hope and know that this will not only help you but millions of aspiring professional IT someday. So, for the last reflection, I learned that the internet is very important. And then, I found out how the internet works. The back end of the internet and what are the tools that needed to make it work. Furthermore, I learned about the networking components such as uh, end devices, intermediary devices, and the network media. So, what is end device? End device is a source of destination device in a network system. Uh, for example, a user's PC is an end device, and so is a server. Network switches, routers, and other equipment work in a between to enable messages to travel from one end device to other device. Intermediary devices connect the individual host to the network and can connect multiple individuals' network to form an internetwork. The last is network media. What is network media? Network media is refers to the communication channel used to interconnect nodes on a computer network. Um, typical example of network media includes copper coaxial cable, copper twisted cables, and optical fiber cables used in wired networks. So. Can you imagine the world without internet? For me, nowadays we are living in this world with full of technology. Everywhere, you can see how people use the internet 24 hours. We are relying on internet to do our research, to help what we need and also to connect with our loved ones. We are happy living in this modern world. Internet is so important for all mankind. We needed it for daily life. For those had family members work in abroad, they can easily connect in just a second. They can talk using messenger or any other application that has video chat. Living before has no internet connection was good too. Doing writing simple letter to send our loved ones. In my opinion, I think could my life without using internet because my generation do is not as old what are the people we think in 1990s 90s there is internet we are just playing outside with some of our friends but now children were busy playing with their gadgets they don't time to play outside they only focus and addict into online games sometimes they don't have time for family bonding unlike before we are so much willing to help to our parents doing the household chores and so much time of our friends to play. And for the last time, we will miss those times we live before internet world boom. This world or may we call now as modern world. I hope we can back into 70s to 90s. Hope we can turn back times of the lives of baby boomers and the millennials. Past and present. 
technology then and now. Devices and gadgets that we use today were radically different back when they were first invented, introduced or popularized years or decades ago. In this look at technological transformations, we see what old school designs have become. Floppy disk. You'd need 213,000 individual 5 and a quarter inch floppy disks, each with a capacity of 1.2 megabytes to hold 256 gigabytes of data. Thumb drive. Now all you need is this 2 inch long thumb drive that easily stores the same amount of data. Books. 1,400 physical books would weigh about one pound each. That's about as much as half of a car. Kindle. The cheapest version of this electronic reader can hold that many books in digital form. Ford Model T. The first consumer automobile introduced in 1908 produced 20 horsepower and had a top speed of 45 miles per hour. Ford GT The 2017 Descendant has evolved into a supercar with 600 horsepower and speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour. Television The 1948 Admiral Model 19A12 TV set had a 7-inch black and white screen with a resolution of 653 by 499 pixels. UHD TV Today's 4K ultra-high def TVs have minimum resolutions of 3840 by 2160 pixels. Video Cam the Super 8mm film cameras produced by Kodak in 1965 had film cartridges that recorded up to 2.5 minutes at 24 frames per second. High Def Video Recorder Can record 1080p video for up to 4 hours and 21 minutes at 30 frames per second. Laptop the first true portable computer was called Osborne 1, built by Adam Osborne in 1981. It weighed 24 pounds, had a 5-inch screen, and cost $1,795. Compact Ultra Portables Laptops circa 2016 are sleek, lightweight, have 13 to 15-inch touchscreens, blazingly fast processors, and cost $1,000 or less. Mobile phone In April 1973, Motorola researcher Martin Cooper made the first mobile telephone call using a device that weighed 1.1 kilos and measured 23 centimeters long. It had a talk time of 30 minutes and took 10 hours to recharge. Smartphone There are nearly 150 mobile phone manufacturers in the world today who produced the latest iteration of this device, which is small, light, thin, and is virtually a carry-anywhere computer. ENIAC Built in 1946 by Pennsylvania University scientists, the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, ENIAC, was a 30-ton behemoth with over 17,000 vacuum tubes, 70,000 resistors, and 10,000 capacitors filling up a 30 by 50 foot room. Portable calculator Modern day electronic pocket calculators became available in the 1970s after the first microprocessor was developed by Intel for Japanese calculator company Bizicom. Now, pocket calculators by Texas Instruments. Before my blog ends, I just want all of you to know that the CCNA networkers really help you in many aspects. 
like educational games, you can complete with the other student for you to test your skills and capacity. This is also a, a way to practice the skills you have. And lastly, the Cisco which is a single player standalone strategy simulation game which completes and in contracts in a virtual city. After all of this, it doesn't stop there because their performance based assessment give feedbacks back that helps more accurately identify the knowledge and skill you have mastered and where you need more practice. Now, can you imagine how this network will help IT students develop and change the world of technology? Can you also imagine how will they cope up their future professions? All that I have read, I have realized that this course is really amazing and incredible.